hello everyone welcome to my channel and thank you for joining me today if today is your first time please subscribe and turn on the notification bell so when i upload any video you'll be the first to be notified in this video i'm going to share with you how i make my brown bread and if you do try it please don't forget to share with me and with your family and friends so in here i've got a 500 gram of whole wheat flour and two tablespoons of sugar and one tablespoon of salt and i'm just mixing everything together And then I'm just creating a wheel in the middle of my flour where I'll be adding about 7 gram of yeast, instant yeast, so I do not need to activate it, it's already activated. And then I'll add half a cup of warm milk and half a cup of water, warm water, and about quarter cup or three tablespoons of butter. And then I'll just gradually go in and mix everything to form a dough so I have now achieved my dough and I'm just gonna go in with my hand mixer to knead for about four minutes and then I will knead by hand for about extra four minutes and before I will transfer onto my worktop where I'll be needed for a further four minutes. If you do have a stand mixer, you can knead your dough in there for uh, between five to eight minutes. But if you're using your hand, then you can do that for about eight to 10 minutes. So if you do feel your dough is a little bit too salt, you can add just a little bit of more flour, but don't be tempted to add too much flour. So I'm just kneading for a further four minutes and now I'm going to transfer onto my worktop. I'm just cleaning my worktop and I'll grease it with some oil before I transfer it and knead for a further four minutes. So once this is done, I'll be transferring it back into my bowl where I will cover it with a cling film and let it rest for about 40 to 45 minutes to double in size. So after about 45 minutes, this is how it looks like. And I'm just going to point the middle of it just to release any air and then transfer it onto my wet top and cut it into two to ready to be shaped. So I'm going to grease my wet top with a little bit of oil. Do not mind the noise at the background. <laughs> so I've cut it into two and then I'm just going to use my hand to flatten it and then shape it into a bread shape. So I'm just going to fold it over, keep folding it and sealing the edges as well.
and then i'm going to transfer this into my already greased baking tin or bowl so i'm just going to transfer it in there and then i'll do the same thing to my second dough as well So once this is done, I'm going to transfer it into my second bowl or uh, baking bowl and I will cover it to um, rest for about 30 minutes. Then I'll preheat my oven on 180 degrees and I'm going to bake my bread for about 30 minutes. I'm just going to cover now. So this is how it looks like after 30 minutes. I'm now going to pop it into the oven and bake for 30 minutes. And this is the end result of my bread. You do not need to be buying bread outside guys. If you can make your own bread at home, you know what you're putting in, you know how you're baking it, you know how you're handling it. And please try this recipe and let me know what you think. As you can see, it's, cut, it's quite crusty outside and it's soft inside and it's healthy so there you go thank you so much for watching my video do not forget to subscribe